remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, making a difference. After several years of operating in feats and starts with several interim administrations, the Niger Delta Development Commission finally got a proper board and management, which was inaugurated in October 2023. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu appointed Chiedwebe, a technocrat from Delta State, as chairman of the governing board, while Dr. Samuel Obuku from Bielsa State was made managing director. With these two gentlemen heading the board and management, NDDC looks set to finally deliver on its mandate. Eight months down the line, Niger Deltans are not disappointed, as the Commission has now embarked on new programs and projects, as well as completing long-abandoned ones. All this in the midst of very harsh economic climate, paucity of funds, and the Treasury single account, which prevents them from engaging third-party financial institutions to aid their programs and project delivery. Their successes so far have led many Niger Delta leaders to appeal to President Tinubu to exempt NDDC from the TSA in order for the board and management to truly excel. In the following documentary, we take a look at some of the major achievements of the current NDDC board and management as they set a trajectory for unparalleled development in the oil-rich Niger Delta region and why President Tinubu should accede to the request to exempt NDDC from the TSA. At the return of democratic rule in 1999, People of the Niger Delta region who had suffered untold hardship as a result of widespread poverty, infrastructure deficits and social instability in the oil-rich region increased their temper of agitation for a better deal from the Nigerian state. Part of the agitation even metamorphosed into militancy which was indeed very worrisome to the new civilian regime in the country. It was the need for a holistic solution that will stem this ugly tide and present a new window of opportunities and development for the struggling population in the region that led to the establishment of the foremost interventionist agency known as the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC in June 2000 by the administration of President Olusegun Obasanjo. The agency was conceived to among other things promote accelerated development, economic prosperity and social stability in the region. The NDDC was supposed to be an improvement on preceding interventionist agencies such as the Niger Delta Basin Development Authority NDBDA, and the Oil Mineral Producing Development Areas Commission UMPADEC. Though the NDDC has clearly outperformed these preceding agencies, it is still far from achieving its mandate. The reason for this is not far from the well-known cases of inadequate funding political interference, leadership instability and delays in the passage of the Commission's budgets. It is also public knowledge that issues around corruption and mismanagement of funds have had their toll on the affairs of the Commission in the past. In the last eight months, the NDDC has witnessed a new vista of hope as its current leadership has shown commitment to alleviating the sufferings of blighted communities in the region as well as ensuring transparency and accountability in service delivery. The current board and management of NDDC, inaugurated last year by President Bola Tinubu, are already proving their mettle by injecting some new vigor into the operations of the commission aimed at the holistic advancement of the region and its people. The 13-member board is led by Chiedu Ebie, a technocrat and distinguished administrator with a passion for good governance from Delta State and the MDCEO Dr. Samuel Ubuku from Bayelsa State, who boasts of an impressive profile spanning over 20 years of service in crisis management, capacity building and governance. The smooth working relationship between the board and management so far has been impressive as well as instrumental in the current giant strides 
the Commission is making across all communities and sectors in the region. The best board we have ever had since the inception of NDDC is the Dr. Sam Obuku-led board, the, the current board. You will see him as a patriot. He's full of ideas. Okay? If he's supported, if you know, Dr. Sam Obuku and his team, he has supported, well, wow, we don't have any problems. NDDC current management board held by Dr. Sam Elungbuku, the, 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 the leader manage, managing director of that organization, is doing very well within this short period that he assumed position. That's why sometimes it's very fundamental when persons of capacity, proven record and intelligence are given strategic intervention positions to manage because they have the impact and they feel what the people feel. That's why when you move around, you see a lot of projects. To demonstrate its renewed commitment to tackling the prevailing challenges in the region, the Commission last year launched the Public-Private Partnership Model, PPP, which gives it the opportunity to collaborate with other development partners in designing and executing high-impact projects across the length and breadth of the region. The development of the Niger Delta requires the participation of several stakeholders, and the NDDC alone cannot do it, so there is a need to involve a, a uh, other development partners. Working in the Niger Delta, they need a lot of resources, which is not readily available. Government alone cannot fund all projects. So, um, institutions must figure out how to get the extra funding they need. The Commission also signed an agreement with KPMG, a multinational management consulting firm, providing professional services to institutions across the globe to provide it with a new corporate governance strategy to ensure that its operations comply with global best practices going forward as well as command the trust and respect of its development partners. This was followed by a retreat in Ecotec Bene, Aquaibom State at the beginning of this year. The core of the retreat was to allow for an interchange of ideas between members of the past and current board and management, reminiscing on past achievements, successes and possible setbacks, to chart a better course, an idea that was highly commended by attendees. This is the first time both the former managing directors, former chairmen, the current management and board of NDDC came together to see what they can put in place uh, to, you know, deliver the dividend of democracy in NDDC. And you know, there is this saying that they said, uh, those that goes alone, go fast, but those that goes together, go far. So now they are together, we believe the NDDC is going far this time around. I'm so happy that this new team understand the need to come together and try to look back a bit what happened and to see how they can align their thoughts and their commitments to making sure that we stop hearing about all those funny scandals that has plagued the NDDC over the last several years. The highlight of the retreat was the signing of a performance bond which was undertaken and supervised by the Minister for Niger Delta Development, Engineer Abubakar Momo. It was also to inspire the board and management to deliver under any circumstances and conditions. Without a doubt, the Commission is leading up to the letters of these performance bond as it has been a harvest of programs and completed projects that have since been commissioned and in use, as well as the initiation of new ones. Among these projects is the Ogbia Emakalakala Akipelai Etiama Nimbi 27.5 km road, consisting of five bridges and seven culverts linking 14 riverine communities inaugurated on May 25, 2024. It was facilitated by the laudable partnership between the NDDC and Shell Petroleum Development Company, SPDC. The Commission is certain that with more partnerships, the interventionist agency will complete more projects to the benefit of the people of the oil-rich region. Linking 14 communities 
A road that is 25.5 kilometers long with seven bridges is not an easy feat. All on swamp. That is to tell you that through a genuine partnership works with proper commitment in partnership, just like what SPDC and NDDC have displayed today. That is to tell you partnership works. I want to use this opportunity to also appeal to state governors and other agencies that NDDC is open to any form of partnership that will benefit the people of the Niger Delta. We have been on the drawing board and on the negotiation table with Chevron Nigeria Limited on the construction of the Madno Espravos Road. We want to use this opportunity to tell Chevron that this is a proof that partnering with NDDC is possible. The completion of the spectacular Iko Atabrikan Akata Okwalom Ikoti Wang Okurutip and Iwachang 6.7 km road and 600 meter bridge linking 20 communities and inaugurated on May 28, 2024 has left nothing but praise on the lips of members of these communities. This road has been a great help to us. No more trans transportation problem. We use our cars instead of using Kedo. A, a time ago, it was somehow they were using a boat to cross the place. But today, as God may have it, we have a good bridge, which uh, everybody can drive safely without having any challenge. Despite the difficult mangrove and waterlogged area, the triumph of the NDDC is also the triumph of the local contractor, Viche Nigeria Limited, which doggedly proved its craft by ensuring the total completion of the road and bridge. 600 meters of uh, our bridge is not a small thing. Passing through the ocean, this I can say is an engineering feat. So I must also congratulate the company that undertook this venture. The project was difficult, honestly, and uh, they are the first time my company is building uh, up to 600 meters bridge. And we thank God we were able to complete it. In their quest to connect states, the commissioning of the 9-kilometer Obehie Okekbe Road in Okwa West Local Government Area of Abia State on May 18, 2024, connecting Abia and Akwaibom State, has reduced travel time and boosted economic activities within and beyond the benefiting communities. I never knew that the NDDC will be able to do this. So it definitely means that the NDDC, the management of the NDDC we have this time around is one that has a human face towards discharging their duties. We are happy that such a thing has happened. Before we were friends, when we had NDDC, we said abandoned project. Now, the new MD has changed narrative. The new team has changed narrative. Now, NDDC will start the project. Also, the over 3,000 meter long Oruma rigid pavement road and streetlight project in Ogbea local government area of Bayosa State was inaugurated on February 18, 2024. The Oruma road is a crucial bypass for commuters navigating between Bayosa and River State. We have struggled since in the 90s, the mid 90s, to ensure this road was done. But it, had, it didn't happen until our son came into position. I will pray for many occasions like this all over the Niger Delta so that the present leadership of the NDDC would have written its name on a uh, stone of marble in the Niger Delta. Before the road get problem, but as we did now, we thank God say the road good, light day available, we don't get any problem. We have been suffering on this road, poto 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 poto. Since where they do, I know the stuff I get where we just come, we we'll drive past. Other completed and inaugurated projects include the repairs of the Atani Amovi Road in Arochuku, Abia State. Iridep Ikot Ekmayong Ikot Etim Afaha Itiat Road and Ukwo Akmautong Odorong Kit Intak Inyang Etebi Roads in Akwaibom State and Ugilaima Ogume Abi Road as well as Onichaubu Idumuje Uboko Ewohimi Bridge and Road both in Delta State. Some completed electricity projects undertaken by the interventionist agency in the region include the Okitipukba substation in Ondo State 
inaugurated on May 22, 2024, powering five local government areas and hundreds of communities in Ondo South Senatorial District. It's going to transform the socio-economic life of this senatorial district. We cannot but thank the current management of NDDC. All the businesses are down. All the machineries, all the pills are down. But with this, it's going to bring a lot of improvements to our economy. Today is a tremendous day in my life. It's an immemorable day you cannot forget in life. And we thank God that God has done this for us because for the past 15 years, we are, we are, we are in the dark. And the Amufi substation in Edo State, inaugurated on May 20th, 2024, consists of a 1 by 15 MVA. 3311 kva injection substation that delivers electricity to five communities if you see my belly now belly i said i need to talk night day i say i hear this light matter i leave business today i don't they call quick quick we say i want to call a piece we don't get lights now lights now they make community they open high so we are happy for this light where where 100 percent happiness may god bless ndc this top station on the key 13 2012 i would like to thank the managing director of ndc for this top station to come to reality through the light of niger delta program 56,786 solar street lights have been installed across the nine states of the region while several other solar light installations are currently ongoing Beneficiaries in various communities noted that the street lights in their communities have curbed the activities of night marauders and boosted socio-economic engagement. In fact, it's even better in the night than in the day with this uh, solar light because you are sure that no one can be a marauder to you anymore because everywhere is lit up and then you can go out and come back, buy anything and come in before you'll be turning left right to see if somebody is talking somewhere to do some harm to you. I would want to stay in my community than staying in Port Harcourt because <laughs> the, 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 the atmosphere at night is wonderful. It's really wonderful. The commission also invested in the construction and equipping of several healthcare infrastructure as well as the provision of free healthcare services across the states of the region through its free medical outreach program. The initiative, which was relaunched in April this year after several years of hibernation, has reached over 18,000 patients in Akwaibom, Imo, Delta, Bayelsa, Edo and Undo states with the team heading to Abia and Cross River State in the coming days. The Commission has also promised to carry out the free medical outreach quarterly instead of annually in order to meet the overbearing health needs of rural dwellers in the region. I haven't gone round to see that we've had hundreds of surgeries in the past two days. For the fact that it is this successful, I think the management of NDDC will consider carrying out this program quarterly rather than annually. Beneficiaries of successful surgical operations and deliveries will for a very long time continue to sing the praises of the good work the commission has done to impact their lives. People like us who don't have money, who don't have APA, and NDC have made me to be a man again in my life. So I'm very happy so much. When I came, it was difficult, but all of a sudden, NDC appear and be a savior to me. After everything, I put back to my baby save and sound. The NDDC also collaborated with Teezy's events for the Made in Niger Delta Disability Praise Festival, where they distributed wheelchairs and palliatives to disabled youths in the region. Please, this is a program that encourages the physical challenge in society. And by we want to say, at least should not be here. Let it just end here. Let it continue. At least it helps the physical challenge to be appreciated in the society. My old one was kind of very rusty and the movement become a thing of toilingness, like I struggled to wheel it. But thank God today I got a new, a brand new one. They also donated relief materials to flood victims in Sangana, Bayelsa State, while pledging to introduce new technology to address the issues of flooding in the area. We're also contemplating looking at using um, wave breakers into deep into the river so that it will also reduce the force of the wave. Then we talked about also the geotube technology, which we're also exploring 
which we think is going to be more sustainable. The NDDC Holistic Opportunities Program of Engagement, also known as Project HOPE, is a program designed to create a pool of young people in the Niger Delta region for empowerment purposes. The first stage of data collection has been completed. This will ensure proper planning and the formulation of tailored programs and policies. With over a million youths registered on the database, the Commission revealed that all is set for the second phase featuring specialized training in different vocations. We have quick impact programs such as the Agricultural Scheme, we have the Niger Delta Technology Scheme, we have the Niger Delta Entrepreneurial Development, we have the Niger Delta Youth Internship Program, we have the Niger Delta Youth Maritime Opportunities, we have the Niger Delta Music and Arts Project. All these uh, lined up for youths in the Niger Delta to benefit. Preparations for actions which includes publicities, strategic communications and engagements of beneficiaries would commence immediately according to the directives of the MD. This is again showing the poise of the Commission and the Chief Samuel Ubukule administration to reassure hope to the people and youths of the Niger Delta. Also in April this year, the Interventionist Agency organized and sponsored a technological conference tagged Potakot Tech Expo 2024, featuring technology experts from across the globe as speakers who highlighted the pressing need for enhanced tech-related skills amidst a growing cyber threat. If you have the skill set, you will be ready. In fact, those 3 million jobs out there would come chasing you. So. This is a challenge before us. Dr. Samuel Oguku underscored the agency's commitment to nurturing tech-savvy talents in the Niger Delta and preparing them for the challenges and opportunities presented by the advancement in technology. This forward-looking initiative extends to children as young as five years old, integrating them into tech training programs to cultivate a new generation of tech innovators in the Niger Delta. We are not just limit, limiting these opportunities to adult youths. We are also looking at how we can also incorporate our kids from primary school and secondary schools. Hence, today, NDDC have also decided to partner with U Lessons to acquire about 45,000 U Lesson tablets. For those whom their parents cannot afford paying teachers to come and teach them, for them to also have access to quality education. The Niger Delta Chamber of Commerce is currently in the offing, along with a partnership with the Bank of Industry, which will provide numerous opportunities for entrepreneurs and business owners in the region, as well as several other agricultural and food sufficiency programs. Having achieved this much in less than a year of operations, the Minister for Niger Delta Development, Abubakar Momo, is optimistic that the Commission will complete more abandoned and ongoing projects. I want to assure the people of Niger Delta that with the 2024 budget of the NDDC already in the Senate passed, I'm sure the Senate President will, by this time next year, will be quarreling why he's being invited every week to come and commission projects in the Niger Delta region. The renewed commitment of the Chiedu ABA led board and Ubuku led management in the past couple of months stands visible for all to see and is a testament to the much they can do across the region in the coming months and years if given the necessary support with adequate funding as well as the removal of all administrative encumbrances. One of such is the exclusion of the commission from the Treasury Single Account TSA which will enable the Commission partner financial institutions to undertake major projects and programs, as well as the timely and bulk remittance of the statutory 3% annual operating cost by oil companies operating in the region. Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, making a difference. Inside the Niger Delta, 